back to card curiosity where we try to find the best possible ways to make a good return on your investment in the sports card world and it is finally bowman release day we're recording this on wednesday this has just arrived this is the jumbo hobby box all right and we're gonna get our first look at a hobby box here you get three autographs so uh, 12 packs eight cards per pack that is how it goes we were able to rip flip and grade bowman university last year quite a bit it was one of our more profitable transactions and we expect the same here this year um, the checklist is not quite what we wanted as far as the players in here the big i mean three of the biggest names you could have had would have been shader Shan sanders travis hunter they were both in last year's along with jeremiah smith from ohio state so um kind of unfortunate that uh we're not going to get to have those names in here but we gotta make sure with what we have the big chases are going to be nico ian oliva from tennessee as well as dj lagway florida um Luther Burden from Missouri. So here's what they look like. So a li little bit bigger packs in these jumbo boxes. My hunch, I think jumbos were going for around 300 or 200 on release day compared to like 120 for hobby or 130. And the regular hobby has three autographs. So here we go. Um, let's take a look, see how we do here with the jumbo hobbies. There's the first autograph, upside down. It is, we've got a numbered card right after it. Mitchell Evans, that's a first. Okay. Not numbered, just a base auto. Followed by CJ Donaldson, running back for West Virginia. All right. There we go. Base cards, nothing to write home about. We do grade quite a bit of base here. Um, especially uh, guys that are expected to be top draft picks well i am not sure how many how many numbered cards we'll get here we'll try and keep track here's another one eugene asante from auburn we'll keep the inserts over there as well so purple okay purples to 399 edwards garvers and Manute. so no big names quite yet Would love to get eventually some kind of a color match autograph with like uh, Tennessee players or um, something like that. There's a first signing of Nico, probably a $5 card. Um, he's going to be very, very well sought after here. We've got uh, Keon Keeley on the refractor. Again, not, not numbered, but still, still a parallel there. So the big, big checklist, 200 names. You boil it down, you're going to have a few that you really are trying to find. Um, here's another Nico. It's a good one. We'll set him over here. Actually, I'll just keep him with the refractors. So even a base Nico, we will try to, to grade. That'll be a $50 card. X-Fractor, okay, another one of Eugene. Cole Pennington, um, son of Chad Pennington, I believe, former NFL quarterback. All right, probably about due for an autograph here. Let's, let's see if we can find a monster. Rambling man here. Is this an auto? Oh, it is. Sick. All right. Rambling man autograph. Gators. This is going to be Eugene Wilson. That is nasty. Holy cow. Eugene Wilson. That's an on card autograph to 99. Rambling man. All right, that's a big boy. Wilson, not who I was hoping for. I uh, really wanted DJ Lagway autograph. His cards will be the best from from Florida. Um, but still, at least on release day here, this one will go for a decent amount, I think. Um, I don't know much about the kid. Wide receiver must be pretty solid. And the other numbered card, Antonio. 
Williams. Got Orgy there. The base Orgy might be decent. Got Aller. There we go. Okay, so we should have one more autograph left. The one bummer here on these Jumbo Hobbies. There's a refractor. The Jumbo Hobbies, it's the same number of cards, which I think is weird. So let's just say it's 100 cards. You know, around 100 cards here. And there's also 100 cards in the regular hobby. The only difference is that this one has one more autograph. So it's like, I'd figure there'd be like, you know, 10 or 20 extra cards here, but that is not the case. So kind of strange. Um, there's a, a weird insert that I don't necessarily love. Acropolis. Nice and Graham there, purple, not numbered. So that's just like a, just a purple shimmer, not numbered. Okay, there's that uh, running back that's been tearing it up for Arizona State. Dude's a beast. All right, a few more packs left. Looks like we got another purple in here. DJ, goodness, he's been in like so many. Um, this will be good. Man Jack. All right, Donovan Edwards. All right. No sign of Cam Ward yet, or Dylan Gabriel, or Carnell Tate. Would love to get the Ohio State guy. Receiver Carnell Tate in here. He's going to be a good one. Squirrel. Got Carson Beck here. Malachi Starks there. On the refractor. There you go. All right. So already a pretty nice autograph. Can't be upset. Maccabee, Emeka, Sawyer, and Daniels. Okay, two packs left here. Remember you get uh, 12 packs, eight cards each. This might be the autograph, we'll see. Judkins, oh, it's upside down. Okay. Oh, dude, that's nice. Ashton GMT on the, just a, like a purple mini diamond. Oh, it is numbered 125, dude. That's that's a monster card. Ashton's cards are going crazy right now. Let's go through the rest of these. All right, I think we got the auto here. Texas. Matthew Golden, wide receiver for Texas. I don't know anything about him, just a base auto. Honestly, the uh, Genty's probably worth more. But we shall see. Look him up. This is probably the the dude that you want to pull right there. His card's going to be worth the most. All right, last pack. I'm going to do a quick recap. And then refractor here. All right, that is it. So... All right, one jumbo box. I assume these numbers are going to be similar for Hobby. We'll do another video where we compare both, but you got refractors here. I guess that's a first refractor. Orgy, Pennington. Put these down here. So these are all the refractors. There's like a shimmer, not numbered. So refractors, parallels, not numbered here. So what is that? Seven? Okay, seven of those. You, we got a uh, decent amount of numbered cards. One, two, three, and four. Five here, including the big one. So five numbered cards, three autographs, a bunch of inserts and base. So that's what to expect. I think this is good, but for just one extra autograph, I'd probably lean towards the hobby. So we'll see, we'll do another one here as we continue to work our way through these boxes. We will grade what we can and try to flip to make our money back. That's the game. So hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, stay curious.